A huge troll is on the rampage. It's cornered Hermione in the girls' toilets. She needs our help. We must try to rescue her straight away. Fred and George probably told him. They're the ones sneaking around the school tunnels. Who knows, maybe they were the ones who sicked the troll on Hermione. In the first place. Escape the troll? Are we supposed to battle the troll? What's to protect... To protect, uh, Hermione? Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna flee. Well. Good, good fleeing. Imagine keeping auto jump on for the duration of this. It, it would make this so much easier. But I'm not gonna do that. Because of that reason. It's got, like, some stones on its belly. Since when did this become Pyramid Run? To be honest, if I wasn't running, I, I'd probably take this guy out in a fight. I would just cast Flipendo at it multiple times. Why do they have a, a bunch of strange creatures in, 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 in glass jars? Wait, this is the bathroom. Yeah, we, we, we better give it some privacy. That's where Hermione was. I was just about to ask about her. I hear boss music. So what, what what am I supposed to do? Oh, right. I'm supposed to uh Yeah, yeah, I get it, Ron. That's just what I was figuring out. You don't have to hold my hand even though this is a baby game. Oh, I could just button mash. This works, too. The optimal strategy. This is the most gripping boss fight I have ever been a part of. Oh, right, right, I, I, I lost situational awareness because of how boring this boss fight is. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be held accountable for what happened to the troll. Exhausted from their encounter with the troll, Harry, Ron, and Hermione returned to the Gryffindor common room and discussed the strange goings on at Hogwarts. So there was a troll that attacked us the other day. Another Quidditch match. <laughs> yeah, no shit. It scraped my heel. I wish this kid would shut up. <laughs> Potter sees the snitch! Yeah, I- I know! Leave the commentary to me, kid. Maybe I'll just stand here and wait for the snitch to come to me. I've eaten such flying! You are literally in, in arm's reach. My name is Lee Jordan. I'm in charge of the camera. Look at me go. Harry, Ron, and Hermione spent most of their free time in Hagrid's hut, trying to convince him that he couldn't keep Norbert, his beloved dragon. Eventually, what little assholes? <laughs> yeah, you know what? Fine, fine. I've been gaslighted by these children for for months now. I, I think it's time I got rid of this dragon. <laughs> I have an idea. I'm just gonna sneak around the school at night. <laughs> oh god, Ron's face! <laughs> Don't worry, my spells are... You know, I'm, I'm really fast at shooting spells. I'm a sharpshooter. With, with, with my wand. With my wand. Okay, so the cat is actually... A genuine threat. I remember this level a lot. Because this is where you have to be very stealthy and stuff. Or else Mr. Filch will catch you. Oh, I got caught. <laughs> It seems that the door has opened and closed on its own. Maybe I should investigate. Nah. I have a plan. 
Yes, I will. Come out. Come out. <gasps> what is he? What? <laughs> How do I get up there even? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Wow. He must have hypersensitive ears. <laughs> I just wish there was a way to skip past the cutscenes. My plan, I just have to I just have to wait for him to go to the other side of the hall. Oh. There was this stuff. He's not gonna catch me. As long as I'm up here on the bookshelves. He can't lay a finger on me. Yeah, yeah, I'm up on top of the bookshelves. What are you gonna do about it, pussy? And then he has superhuman strength, and he just pushes the bookshelves down, and then I get caught. This is a bad idea. He just has a secret compartment that he uses. It's where he, he keeps the dead children who... who act up at night. Up, and he's back. I remember when when the cat starts to play a role in this, it, it becomes much harder. Should I even concentrate on the beans? Or should I just leave the beans alone? I have an idea. How about eh, I'll just uh I'll just come over here then. Wait, does the cat actually become a threat? I don't know what room it is, but does he- does he follow a strict path? He just follows the carpet, okay. He doesn't wanna- he doesn't wanna get the wood dirty. There's nothing stopping me from knocking him out. I could just flipendo him in the back of the head and he'll- he'll just go out cold. Like seriously, like why can't I actually do that? <laughs> it would make this- 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 this seemingly meaningless journey to get to the top of the tower... ...more... ...convenient. Uh-oh, I think I need to get out of the room. He's coming. Wait, is he? Oh, now he's on his way. Maybe I should shut the door. Nah. Okay, now it explains why the gargoyle's in there. I remember back in the first movie, Filch was actually kind of scary but then when we get to the seventh movie he, he's he's just a, he's just comic relief I guess it's in connection to the characters getting older and you know the actor is getting kind of sick of being on Harry Potter into the sex dungeon I go I might have said this once but I'm gonna say it again I think out of all of the levels in Harry Potter, this one has to be my favorite. Maybe I'll say it a third time and a, and a fourth time, just for the hell of it. Just to really get that message across. No, 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 no. Can't believe Harry bumped his head into into actual light. Hey. And it happened again. When will this cycle of pain end? Ah, oh, there, there, it, there it goes. It's over. Until the next light arrives. Do I even want to risk it? Alright, I'll risk it. This better not be a booby trap. I was just expecting Mr. Filch to be hiding in that chest and be like, Ha! Got you! Now imagine if Filch had wings and he, he was just flying around here. Okay, he's over there though. Now I just gotta wait for him to... to F off. No, 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 wait, 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 I'm sorry. I, I should have said, fuck off. Do you think I'm blind? I'm not letting anyone into that tower tonight. I'm not letting anyone into that tower tonight. That was a lot shorter than I was expecting. 
had arranged to collect the dragon from the tower and return him to Romania. Ah! So, this is a lot different than how it was in the movies. I, I think this is more heavily based off of the books. Okay, okay, so good, there's a part two. Which I, which I love. Now I have to sneak out. And now Mrs. Norris is part of the fray. That's good. Now, now things are really gonna get heated. I remember in, what was it, the first Harry Potter book? He was looking for uh, a, a mirror or something? I, I really don't remember the, the full context behind it. It's really been that long since I've seen the movie in full. I think this cat's going to be much more aware of my presence, so now I have to be even more careful. Aha! Uh -huh. I've heard you for sure this time. Quick, Mrs. Norris. You keep watch from above. Oh, so the cat's going to be in charge of what's going on on the bookshelves. You'll not get past me now, you rotten little gutter snipes. I'm American. I don't see that as an insult. I'm, I'm fairly sure the cat would have heard that. Oh shit, there they are. Should I be accounting for it having heightened senses? Is that is that like really a thing? Mr. Filch's cat is probably going to be more effective as a hunter than... ...than Filch himself. I'm surprised you didn't hear that. Come on, Mrs. Norris. I will take you to my secret TV room. We can watch scary movies there all night, Mrs. Norris. I see you over there, Mr. Potter. You're, you're, you're gonna get me caught! Friend George are up to their usual tricks, I presume. I heard about your Quidditch victory. Yes, well done. This is not the time! This is the time! Alright, I'll, I'll go hang out with Mr. Uh, Semi-Headless Ghost. What's going on? Who was that? Someone's got past me. <gasps> I don't want you to have Mrs. Norris investigate. Yeah, you could just phase through cages and shit. Oh! Meow! It is a mirror! Wow, indeed. This one's got particle effects. The mirror of Erised were Harry's parents. James and Lily Potter. Harry stared hungrily back as though hoping to fall. I mean, I don't, I don't even like see them. It was Mr. Filch and his cat. I think in the movie they were looking up like books to read on the Sorcerer's Stone so they could learn more about it. The dragon does exist in the movie, but it's it's later on. Prepared for what? Thought Harry. Am I supposed to know? Dear. There's a phase three now. Interesting. So, so it, 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 it is actually pretty long. There isn't any more, like, stealth sequences. Is there? No, there is. Only way out of this room is past that gate. He makes an awful racket. You take that side of the room, and I'll take this one. You'll catch him. What a well-coordinated plan with- with his- his cat. Fuck. Well, I think I missed out on something. That's okay. Does that- does that count? Uh, I'll just- I'll just place it on a little more better. There we are. I'm a little disappointed with with the effectiveness of the cat. I I really felt like Yeah, I mean, we're just talking hypotheticals here because remember this game came out 25 years ago. That's that's something that I really need to stress, but I I really feel like it would have been so much more interesting if the cat was like much more vigilant. 
because they have like heightened senses compared to a human anyway and uh they'd be able to pick up on you much more quickly so you would need to just book it as quickly as you could all right so now i just gotta open the door the, the door is not open no one ever told me there would be a part three and 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 now they're they're doing like a pincer move it's like they're expecting me to be there so now what do I have to do yep he just comes back you said that to him last time He's not gonna get banished, he's a ghost. You, you, you can't just banish him like that. The only one who's not falling for it is the cat. How do I deal with the cat? It's gonna just be hanging out by the door. Oh, I see, I gotta break this pot. We gotta play some, we gotta do some really risky plays. Here we go again. With the asking of the beans. Harry Potter, I know you're there. Do you have 25 beans? It's for an experiment. I will figure out what they're doing with those beans. Considering the music, it's, it's kind of coming off as something more ominous and sinister. They're gonna be, like, unsurprised that Harry's here and they're gonna ask. Hey, Harry, do you have 25 beans for us? I fucking called it! They just have, like, piles and piles of beans in, a, in the basement of the school. <laughs> They're just hoarding beans. Better not tell your, your friends about this. Especially your brother Ron. It would be a shame if, if our secret were exposed. For you, of course. But not us. I, I can't I can't even go through here. They, 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 they summoned a magical barrier. Yeah, I, I, I would confusedly scratch my head if, if I was put in a situation like that. 